Hi, I'm Tracy from the Cake Craftery. This is how I paint buttercream dahlias with a palette knife. You can use any palette knives like these except for number two, which is the wrong shape. First I'm going to show you how I load the palette knife for this sort of flower. Load the face of your palette knife from both sides, leaving the top clear and tidy. Press your palette knife down tip first and unload your buttercream lengthways along the knife. You can make tiny petals by just applying buttercream to the tip of your knife or you can make medium sized petals by taking the buttercream down halfway along the length of your knife. Now let's paint a dahlia. It helps to mark out a circle the size of the dahlia that you want. Normally you'd be painting straight onto crusted buttercream or even ganache and you could just scribe your circle directly into this lightly. Um, with a cocktail stick or the edge of your palette knife. This is a bit of an awkward thing I'm doing here, but it's just to give you the idea. Load about two and a half centimetres or an inch of your palette knife with buttercream in the way I showed you earlier, keeping the back and the tip as clean as possible. The tip of your petal should start where the circle you have marked is, and the length of your palette knife should angle towards the centre of your flower. So continue applying the petals all the way around your circle, radiating out from the centre and, and slightly overlapping each petal on the last. If you're working on top of a cake, you can of course move the cake around so you don't have to twist your wrist around. But if you're working on the side of a cake, it's a little harder and you have to twist around somewhat. Sometimes I switch from right to left hand just to apply the buttercream and it's easier than you might think. Now I'm starting the second row of petals about a centimetre in from the first row. I'm staggering these petals so that they're in between the two petals beneath them. This isn't exact as there are 18 petals in my first row and only 15 in my second. You can make each succeeding row slightly lighter than the last if you want a more dimensional effect. My final innermost row is about half a centimetre in from the second row and this row has 10 petals. You can make a more detailed daily with lots of tiny little petals in the centre using the tip of your palette knife or you can do what I've done and use a piping bag and a number three nozzle. Here I'm using black buttercream. And there you have it, the dahlia. You can use this method for chrysanthemums or sunflowers or any similar shaped flower. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.